Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What is up, everybody? Welcome to part two with this Sanctum Five Color Shrines deck. I am loving this one. Uh, this is a suggestion from Term One Soul Ring. He built this deck, and I'm loving it. I think uh, if you didn't see part one, you really should watch part one. I think it's a really, really fun deck, and you kind of get to see it in action doing its thing. So we're going to jump into three more games, and we're going to kind of summarize our thoughts on it and see what we think. Um, I'm going to keep this. This is a good hand. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's go ahead and play this out. We'll just go ahead and play our first Sanctum here. It would have been possible that we just waited on it, but I think that this leaves us obviously more open. Uh, we could have waited till turn two to play it, but and not shocked ourselves. But you know, this leaves us open for more plays, so I'm fine with it. Good, good. All right. Uh, this deck is really annoying. Um, we've been against this deck a couple times. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, I kind of want to get to a second white mana here. Um, so I'm prioritizing this a little bit heavier. But this allows us to shatter this guy before we drop the Citizen Champions, which I think is a little better if we can make that happen. So uh, They do get to kill Teferi here if they'd like, which is frustrating, but not really the end of the world. Um, also, huh, well, hmm, I know that this is just going to die again, but I don't really care. Um, I'm kind of just wanting to get, to tempo them out a little bit. Uh, so if we can get a couple of enchantments, like if we can get a two mana or a one mana enchantment, so Tessin Champion can go out, we can drop that enchantment, and then all of a sudden we've got ways to block and deal with a lot of what they're going to do. Uh, and here we're going to get to Shatter the Sky and deal with both of these creatures, which is also very good. So I'm thinking that that was the better play. Uh, that might be wrong, I don't know, but here we can actually just... I mean, we can just start kind of mowing these things down. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's do this. Let's hit this, and we will discard discard the steam vents, I think. Uh, and then we'll play the land out. So this way they have to commit a little bit more to the board, and then we can shatter the sky. That way, I think that that's a better play. Um, now that we're at this point in the game, we drew that shrine. I'm liking this shrine's deck, though, guys. This is super, super fun. Um, it's silly, it's a little janky, but, like, it's really cool. Goodness, how many of these do they have? Yep. Um, hmm. So we can just do that again, if we need to. Um, yeah, I think we're going to. Um... We do have to discard a land to do it, but again, I'm kind of going for max value here. I'm going to go ahead and play this guy out too. Uh, we'll see. We're kind of hopefully, hopefully making them think we don't have a Shatter of the Sky, but in reality we do with a backup Satessin Champion. That's a really good card. Uh, that's a flagship card in another deck that I'm hoping to play today. Uh, and so this is much better because now we just get to like three for one them. Um, ooh, we get to Sanctum of them. Hmm. Mm -mm. That's pretty good. Um, uh, I don't know what to do. Let's do this. This is so not the correct play. Um, <laughs> but let's do that. Uh, and obviously no attacks. So this way we'll block something here if they do so decide to attack in. Um, but hopefully they're just kind of committing more stuff to the board. Uh, and this will obviously help us pull out, uh, in particular, the Black Sanctum, which is really the one that we want. Um, and hopefully that works. Uh, I'm super okay with just blocking in the way to uh, mitigate the most damage here, so that's fine. Uh, search library. We're gonna get this. That way we start saving ourselves a good bit of life. 
Gonna play this. Gonna play this. Get some very good value there. Um, yeah, they get a lot of counters on some stuff. And then we'll play this. All right. Uh, yep. <laughs> Hope that's enough. Uh, this is a very potent deck, by the way. This is definitely a potent deck. And this Ozolith is a big issue. Um, we do need to find a way. We need to get the blue Sanctum so we can start drawing a bunch of cards. Wow, that's so good. Uh, and this has Trample, doesn't it? So we just lose. Goodness. That is so good with the Ozolith. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you got me. That was sweet. Uh, next turn, I think we would have been maybe close to okay. Um, but that Ozolith really made it difficult. So that's okay. Let's, uh, let's jump into game two. Let's see what we can do. Um, really enjoying this deck though, so I do appreciate, again, the deck submission. If anybody would like to submit a deck, Discord is the way to do it. Please make sure, uh, you leave it in our deck suggestions channel. Also, just want to give a warm welcome to all the new people in Discord. We've gotten a lot of new people in there, uh, hanging out with us, chatting. Um, it's a, it's a really good time. We've got a, we're very, very fortunate to have a really awesome community in our Discord channel. Uh, and so it's it's a really cool place to be, um, is what I will say. I, I really enjoy that. And so I do uh, appreciate everybody's, you know, kind support there. Um, we're going to try it. This is a bit of a sketchy keep, but okay, land helps. That's what we needed. Um, and really any land, because we kind of just need to get, we need to two into three here or two into three here. Um, so that actually helps significantly. Uh, let's play you out, and let's play you out. Um, I don't know if we'll Satessin Champion or if we'll Sanctum first, but we'll see. Given that we have a Shatter of the Sky and this is a Stompy deck, we may end up having to Shatter pretty quickly here. Um, we do kind of have to shock ourselves here to get some stuff down. It might have even been more correct to do this first. In fact, it definitely... No, actually it wasn't, because this, um, this is going to help us get what we need. Let them play out as much as they want to play out here, because, again, we do have the Shatter, so I'd rather them do this now. Um, but we are going to be in quite a pickle very quickly here. Um, gain a little bit of life back. We do have to pick white here. And we just do this. Um, play this out taps since it's not really going to matter. Um, and then next turn we can Satessin Champion and then drop a Sanctum. We'll obviously have to sacrifice one, but that's okay. Um, and then we'll, we'll hopefully be able to get there. But this is definitely going to be a tricky one. Uh, let's go red so we can get this down. Um, first of all, we've made this mistake before. Let's do this. Um, so that way it doesn't use up all of our red. Then let's play this. So that way we get the counter and get to draw a card. We'll drop this down. Um, yeah. Um, ooh, that's pretty good. Do we block? I'm actually going to say no. Might be incorrect, but we'll see. Uh, what do we want? Let's go blue. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. And... Hmm. Let's do this. I know we're going to sacrifice one, obviously, but that doesn't really matter. We're drawing two cards um, with this, which I think is really important. And no, we are not going to attack. Teferi's great. Um, and now we've got a couple creatures that we can kind of block with here if we need to. This card's really good. Very, very good. Um, let's get rid of this. Um, take the four. Okay, now, take action, uh, we'll discard, discard that, um, 
Hmm. Sure. Let's do that. Let's do this. We don't actually want to bounce this because that can become a problem for us. So we're going to bounce that. Um, we're going to play this. I'm going to play this. We're not really doing this in the correct order here, but that's fine. Let's do this. We'll keep one of them. Um, one, two, three, four. So we can't quite kill this, uh, but this does mean that we can kind of block more efficiently uh, and then kill it. Oh, okay. We do get to attack there, which is nice. All right, cool. Hey, we got there. <laughs> uh, that was a little off the wall. I didn't know that we had like 100% secured that game yet. I don't necessarily think we had, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and jump into our last game with this one. My goodness, am I loving this deck. I think this one's very, very fun. Uh, it's a bit slow, but like I think that's kind of fine. We'll watch our frame rate on this one because it looks like it's dipping pretty heavily. Uh, I mean, yeah, we try and keep it. Um, our frame rate's dipping, but we're gonna try and just stick it out. If it's uh, if it's unwatchable, I understand, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is a keep though. I mean, we got a nice two into one of these uh, for for three, so. And giving that Sanctum and, or excuse me, the black one is our first play here is really, really good. And then getting something like this down just means that, or this down, depending on the deck we're against, just means that, you know, we either get to ramp into more stuff or we get to deal with what they've got on the field. Uh, and the fact that we've doubled up on the greens here means that we get to discard one of them to uh, the Shattered Heights if we need to. So I feel pretty good about that. Um, opponent taking a little bit. But that's fine. Might be a bit of a slower game. Um, I do really, really like this deck, though, guys. I think this one's very, very fun. I think this is a bit of a... There's always a few cards in the list or in the in the new sets that people really, really want to build around. Uh, I think the Shrines as a whole, but in particular Sanctum of All, is really a big, big card uh, for this set. I think it's really, really fun. As well as the Dog-Cat Tribal stuff, which I think we'll do very, very soon, but... Um, I think there's a lot of reason to love the the Shrine deck just for the sake of synergy. Um, I love a good synergistic deck. We've talked about that before, how important that is. And uh, I think, you know, this is just a really fun one. So, Mono Black, maybe. Um, could be a lot of different things, but it's def definitely Sacrifice. <laughs> um, Sanctum of the Stone Fangs here is going to be pretty helpful. Uh, to get this down quickly. Let's do this, uh, and let's do this. I do, I apologize again for the frame rates, but, um, it is what it is. I think we're going to keep going as we are. Um, Calyx here might actually do some work. We'll see. Okay, cool. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm going to do this first. Uh, the reason I'm doing this first is so next turn we can really set ourselves up because we do kind of have to pick one or the other. We can't play this out and use, use it yet, whereas this is going to help us use it the next turn even after we play it. So I'd rather do that, I think. Um, this also just helps us play more of the stuff in our hand, which is obviously important. So... Um, they're really getting stuff going here, though, which makes sense, but are you going to... I was going to say. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, so the question becomes, what do we actually want to... What color do we actually want here? So we do need to plan out our turn a little bit. Um, we're going to get two mana, so in total we'll be able to have six mana. Um, let's do... Eh, let's do blue. Uh, don't... 100% get that. I don't know that there's 100% a reason for that, but so we can just play this out, um, which doesn't seem great. Uh, we could just play this and then start kind of mowing down some of their stuff, which I think is a little better. 
Uh, we can also just play Calyx um, along with like Paradise Druid, which I kind of like that play actually. Um, trying to think through things a little bit, uh, but certainly this is, you know, an area, this is where we start to make a lot of bigger decisions. So they're probably, chances are we're going to try and peg the Mayhem Devil. They're going to sacrifice it, which is completely fine. Um, and then we play out like a Paradise Druid or something like that to, uh, to just clog up the board a little bit and trade off if we need to. And I'm 100% okay with trading that off. Um. Opponent playing a bit slow again. Uh, uh, hopefully the frame rates aren't terrible. Thankfully, you don't have to watch me if you don't want to, and the game itself is pretty much the same either way. So, um, But I think that this gives us the best plays. Um, we do want to get this Sanctum down pretty quickly here, but um, this is kind of our distraction moment where we get to play this out, peg something, they're going to get rid of it, uh, sacrifice it either to the Woe Strider or the Witch's Oven. Um which is going to get rid of their biggest thing. And then let's do this. Peg the Mayhem Devil onto we'll do Sanctum here. Uh, so that gets rid of that issue. Let's do this. I'm very surprised they didn't do anything. Um, and so now, you know, we took a little bit of damage here to do this, but now we've got a blocker for any of this stuff, and it has Hexproof. Um, they can kill Calyx this turn which is fine. I don't really care about that. We got rid of their biggest thing here. Um, and now we can play this Sanctum along with maybe Teferi or something next turn and not be quite as, uh, you know, threatened by what they're doing. Um, so I think that that's the best play. Uh, that was an area, though, where you could have gone a couple different ways. Um, I just want to kind of make sure that that's very well understood because I don't know if that was the correct one or not, but I think it was. Um, Calyx also just a really good card if they don't do anything about it. It's going to help us, you know, get to where we need to be. Um, it hits, uh, let's see, obviously it's only enchantments, but uh, I was kind of hoping this also could pull lands. It doesn't, but um, that does help us get to our, our big finisher quicker, which is good. Uh, do, do, do. I love the Sanctum of Stonefang just because it really, really helps us uh, get to where we need to be in terms of um, in terms of keeping us alive. Uh, opponent really being slow here. I don't know if it's a connection issue or what. Um, I hate when this happens, and I, I certainly feel for the opponent if it is a connection issue, but I understand some people like to... Uh, like to try and play the system a little bit, and I don't like that. It's kind of frustrating. Um, so I hope that that's not what they're doing. And either way, it, it doesn't matter. We're going to stick it out. But um, please understand. Okay. Well, they used all their timeouts. Uh, I do think we were kind of at a tipping point there where we were going to start taking over anyway. So we're going to count that because we're at like the 20-minute mark, and I've got a couple of other videos that I'd like to uh, record today for you guys, so I do hope that we can get those out, but I hope you enjoyed this video. This one's a really fun deck. Uh, turn 1 Soul Ring, again, really do appreciate the deck submission. Um, I really think this deck has some legs. I don't think it's necessarily like a Tier 1 deck. It loses pretty heavily to some of the like aggro decks. Um, I think there might be a world where uh, you play like Archon of Sun's Grace in here, get a little bit of extra value just off of playing the enchantments. So this with Satessan Champion and, you know, an Archon might be a really cool little combo uh, synergy deck there. So there might be something to it where you get to spread the board out a little bit more uh, and hopefully keep yourself alive a little bit easier uh, and maybe don't need quite so many of the Shatter or the Tempo stuff like the uh, Teferis and everything. But I do think... This is a pretty good starting list. I think Turn 1 Soul Ring did a really good job with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to try it out. Uh, the deck list is down below if you're interested. Um, but I think that's going to be it for this deck. I am loving Corset 2021 so far. I hope you guys are. Uh, make sure to leave some more deck suggestions for us so we can bring those to the table and hopefully get some videos out for you guys uh, on the decks that you submitted. Um, but really, really enjoying this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. And I will see you hopefully very, very soon. Uh, with another gameplay video. Thanks, guys.